Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and it looks like I was correct. <laughs> it looks like I was correct about the movie Red, White, and Royal Blue um, because it had a good weekend. It had a good weekend for, for Netflix. Um, number one movie worldwide for Amazon Prime. Um, smash records for Amazon Prime. Uh, most talked about Amazon Prime movie. And it also got new members, um, new subscriptions, new subscribers to sign up so people can watch it. Um, also, it also got people to um, buy the book through Amazon as well. So, yeah, um, I was correct. Just like I had kind of predicted. I had said, here's one way to do a, a LGBT movie right and compared to Bros, which was trying to be a major thing um honestly if you ask me i think this movie probably would um could have did good at the box office honestly um because it was an enjoyable movie like i had said i had fun with the actors because it really depended on nicholas um galzine and taylor um ugh. taylor <laughs> uh, i don't know why i was about to say Taylor Z Zanac um, Zachary Perez, like, no, just Taylor Perez, like, you know what I'm saying, like, what the fuck was I thinking, boy, I don't, I don't fucked up this man's name, but anyway, I'm just having fun, it really depended on their they performance, and people loved it, and that's great, and I just kind of wanted to get on here to kind of, like, talk about it, because, you know, um, how we had the United States people in um especially with the lgbt community or whatever always talking about how everybody hate lgbt folks or whatever well if that's the case explain explain the success of red white and royal blue because not only did lgbt people watch it straight people watched it um i even talked to some people who watched it that were straight they said it was a it was a it was a fun rom-com between two guys like you know i'm just like hmm interesting how how you know because they always push a narrative about how um how the world is against lgbt people and we don't see enough representation well if that's the case why is this movie doing so well right about now hell it's doing so well that people are demanding the um to release the extended cut of the movie because apparently the movie was cut down which i had said in my review um you know, in the previous video, if you guys want to see the review for the movie, it, um, I will probably have it at the end of this movie. I mean, end of this or or be like a little card or something like that. You know how the hell y'all know how the hell um, YouTube works. But um, <laughs> which I had already noticed, I had said because I've never read the book, but I had said, oh, this movie feels too goddamn short for me. Um, and as a person who was just watching, I'm just like, no, there's some I am missing some details in here that should have been in the movie. And they had said they had cut out a lot of stuff um, when it came to this movie, um, especially Amazon had cut out a lot of stuff that was promoted in the trailer that wasn't in the movie. That that's definitely a problem. Um, and people want want that vert want the extended cut of the movie. And I and I don't blame them. The movie is it, the movie is being success, is successful right now. Um, it it got people to actually buy. Amazon Prime like actually sign up like they got they literally got new subscriptions to because people really want to see this movie so I don't know what to tell y'all so this whole narrative about oh um the world hates LGBT folks or whatever and um and we and LGBT people never gets get any um any focus or whatever well explain this movie then because the movie the movie literally blows out your entire argument you know because i'm always tired of hearing people talking about oh we don't like this and stuff like that when i have said there has been plenty of lgbt uh movies that the public actually enjoy there's just the certain people i mean there's just certain things you just can't put in a movie and again if you want straight people to watch and support some of your movies then guess what you can't insult your audience and sometimes you got to actually put um, people that can bring an audience. These two guys 
have a fan base, have a major fan base. They brought the people in there. They were very charming. They were very funny. They were uh, they were tick for tack with each other because, I mean, in the movie, like I said, they go at each other, too. So it's not just like, you know, it just kind of happens. Like, they have the funny banter on and off screen, which helped build this movie up to be the success that it is. And I just thought that that's very interesting because you, we're always you're always told like, hey, um, people, um, straight people won't support LGBT stuff or whatever. No, nope, they they will, they will. You just got again, you just gotta you just gotta do things in a tasteful manner. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to see all that wild, colorful bull crap. Um, it, it wasn't preachy too. Thank. Ugh. That's another plus for the movie is no preaching. Like people don't understand how. That is such a major thing that you cannot do in that movie. Um, there might be some woke moments in there, but I, honestly, eh, I, I can overlook it because it is an LGBT um, rom-com. Like, what the hell did I expect? You know what I'm saying? But again, it didn't preach at me and it didn't, it didn't insult my intelligence. It didn't say how bad of a person I was or whatever because a lot of those movies, you the, the these recent ones, that ain't been trying to push on us has been doing too much. And you just be like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Um, but to see the success of this movie to the point where not only do people want the extended edition, they want whatever deleted scenes. <laughs> they want more bloopers behind the scenes and they want a sequel, which honestly, from the, from the way it ended, you could totally do a sequel. Um, Again, I don't know how the book ended. So, again, anybody who come in here and try to be like, well, the book, uh, I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. Okay? So, I'm just going by me watching the movie, um, and it's being a film adaptation of this, of the book. Um, I'm just saying, like, you can definitely do something else with this movie um and honestly like i said before if you don't feel like doing a sequel if you don't feel like doing a sequel hell redo the whole entire project as a tv series with those two actors or the sequel could be an actual tv show i don't know you, you know that's just that however you feel like doing it because apparently um that might be another good format but um, it looks like the demand is getting great for it. Um, and on top of that, they have, they have both the fictional characters actually have social media accounts on Instagram and X. So you can follow, so you can follow them and you can see some of their story updates. I don't know if they updated anything recently, but they did post, they did, um, post two things before. Um, so you get to kind of see what they're saying or whatever. Um, but I, I, like I said, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the picture. I'm not going to sit here and lie and sit up here and say, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with like Barbie. I, it's, it's not good, but it's not bad. But I had a, I had a nice time with the movie. I didn't, I didn't really be like, oh my God, what the fuck? Like, even though it had, it had issues and Barbie has issues. You know what I'm saying? It, it just kind of like surprised me and like, well, damn, that was a, that was a decent piece. You know, um, and it's the same thing with um red white and royal blue I, I i enjoyed it from beginning to end honestly um it was just it was such a interesting uh interesting piece um of a film that if you do it you i kind of want us I, I even though i don't really watch rom-coms if i had to watch rom-coms i would love the rom-com to be something like this where like you have these two actors that really feel it you really feel it because nowadays when they try to put characters together, they, you don't really feel it. You don't really feel like they, they care for each other. They they like each other or whatever and stuff like that. It just feels like they're just there just to be there. Because sometimes, I like I said, I've seen old school rom-coms. Um, because, of, again, you know, growing up in the 90s, rom-coms were a, a major thing. That's probably why I really don't like them. Because they were everywhere. Um, but, I like, I watched them. But it's, as far as, like, oh, my God, going purposely watch, like, as a genre, is that my no? Not not at all. Because sometimes some of the rom coms were just so unbelievable, Un unbelievable. You just be like, "Huh? You sure these two these two people are supposed to be together?" 
<laughs> or then when they try to uglify the man or uglify the woman to the point where you just be like, all right, I'm not even, I, I can't even, I can't even buy this bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, stop it. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, maybe make, make something like that and, um, maybe not do not go the cheesy route like um Netflix did with their with their with their rom coms. Yes, Netflix, I'm calling you out because uh both Nicholas and Taylor both starred in like movies that you you guys did that were just like pure cringe of like what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> um but yeah, no, I, I I there's not really much more to say besides like is is very successful um people are talking about uh talking about it is is doing well with reviews and critics um fans are demanding for the three hour cut or whatever cut um people are also talking about hey a sequel if there's possible which like i said the way the movie ended definitely you can do a sequel you, you just can't leave it there where like oh yeah that, that's it no mm -mm, no go, go go ahead and give me a sequel um, and honestly, Amazon, figure out what other movie you can put Nicholas and Taylor in together because their banter is hilarious and their chemistry between each other are amazing that like that's money in the bank. Like regardless if they don't regardless of if you don't do anything else with Red, Right and Royal Blue, you can definitely do another movie featuring these guys in something. You know what I mean? the talent is there but that's just my personal opinion on the situation um but yeah um tell me what you guys think comments below like i said did you guys um watch it have you heard heard anything about it what do you guys think do you guys think that everybody was bsing about the whole lgbt stuff because sometimes it do feel like that um but yeah those are my thoughts tell me what you guys think in the comments below and i'll catch you guys later peace out mm -hmm.